All right, guys. Uh, some of you've been messaging me asking about the uh, MIDI controller right here. This uh, MIDI controller, I have it set using MIDI to Lightroom, and uh, you can control up to about sixty-four different presets on here. So, basically, turn each of these knobs. I have them all set to different preferences on Lightroom. So, if we look up here. If you look right there, right there in my uh, my develop module over on the right, you will see you can, the top one is a uh, color temperature. And as I adjust this top left uh, knob, you can see it moving. And if you look at the picture, you can see the color warming up. Now if we scroll back down here, Those lights correspond to how, you know, how far that slider moves over up on top. So again, that's for color, actually color temperature. Here's tint. Let's say, go all the way over there. I have it set where I can actually press that button and it puts it back to where it was. Same thing with all those buttons. So let's uh, warm this up a bit. And let's play with exposure now. So exposure I have set to this button or knob. So you can tell, bumping up the exposure or bringing it down. And then the next one is contrast. And do the same thing. Bring up that contrast. And then this next row, I have it set for highlights, sh highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. So I like bringing down those highlights. And this one doesn't really. Yeah, let's bring up the shadows a bit. Bring down the whites and pop up the blacks a bit more. And then the neck row, I have clarity, vibrance, and saturation. And this one isn't really configured. Does it really work? So then if I could bump up the clarity. Same thing with the vibrance. It gets really, really. It's, it's a lot easier to work with than using a mouse to try to get really fine detail. And you can actually go into the software of this device and and change the sensitivity as well. And uh, let's bump up some saturation just a bit. And this next section here, I have set for my tone curve. I like just giving it a nice little S curve. So you can see you can see that tone curve moving. All right, and then and there's also buttons on the side. Right here, there's three buttons on each side. I have those programmed as well. So if I press it, it's actually going to You'll see this change colors because I have it programmed to do different things. So that's my hue, uh, my hue levels, that's my saturation and uh, luminance. So let me go back. I have back on the other side. So let's go over to hue over on this side. And then as you can see, all those are right there, and you'll see them move as I move the dial. And then, same thing for all of them. And just how, you know, if I move all of them, I mean, of course, it changes the picture. 
in real time. And I could just go through and reset each one by clicking on the button. Pretty much, I have everything set up down here. Same thing on this end. This goes all the way down. I have pretty much all those set on this controller. So let me bring over this, the mapping software. There's the mapping software. And as you can see, if I press a button, it will move to that. And I can hit that, and I can change it to whatever I want that's in Lightroom. So right now, I have that button set to reset red adjustment hue. So you can, now there's still quite a few I don't have set up on here. As, you, as I scroll down, see all those that are unmapped. I didn't feel a need that I needed to use for them, so I don't need it right now. Maybe later. So I'll put that back over here. Uh, let's see. And Gus, if you're still there, yeah, this is actually, it's called a DJ Tech Tools. It's actually for, you know, used for musicians and DJs. And, uh, you know, people hacked, not really hacked it, but they wrote a MIDI uh, tool to use in Lightroom. It's pretty cool. Yep, so, that's what I've been using to edit, you know, since, since I got this new machine set up. And it's, uh, I like it, it's a lot, it's really granular and, uh, I don't know if it speeds up editing, but it, makes me focus more and I can get it exactly the way I want. Alright, any questions just uh, message me.